So, dried that off. You can tell it dried back quite a bit lighter. Um, by the way, this is uh, from a, uh, a large sheet of Arches 300 pound cold press bright white. And it's my favorite paper. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is is do a, um, a kind of a first really main layer. All the, what's there now is like I said, just sort of under layer of uh, the bread. And what I'm going to do for the bread is just do sort of a flat, kind of a flat wash of Quinn burnt orange over the whole thing, fairly watery. And I'm going to try to come back in sort of after I finish the shape and drop in some water towards the top to both shift shift the paint that's already there down, but to try to do it in a way that's a little bit um, random, a little bit more, uh, create a little bit more texture effect um, and perfectness to indicate the lumps and bumps of the, uh, of a piece of bread, a piece. I'll say <laughs> this one being more of a loaf than a piece. But here's what that looks like. And once again, I got hopefully plenty of paint mixed up, Quinn burnt orange, very watery. And just gonna kind of think of this as a large swatch, a large oddly shaped color swatch that I've been practicing painting. And I have my, I brought my blob in there and then I go back and get some more paint. A little bit careful about that. Um, I will drop in color up here because I, I am gonna try to make sure that that's somewhat wet um, when I come back in. I do need to let it dry a decent amount, so um, hmm, maybe I didn't need to do that. Oh well, let's, uh, I'm gonna keep going here. I feel like I'm starting to have more luck with um, good washes with more mop brushes that don't have too, too pointy of a tip. Um, sometimes I like having that really sharp pointed tip, sometimes not. There's gonna be some shadow down here, so um, that'll be okay. But anyways, now for the, um, the clear water part. And this is, this is more of a, uh, a random kind of unsure what it's gonna turn out like kind of thing. But I'm just, um, I have some clear water that I've, I'm dropping into the top. And depending on how long I let the, uh, the paint dry that's already there, this will create sort of more more stark backgrounds with sharper, crisper outlines. Because it's watery, it's not going to be that. The mix is watery, so it's not going to be too, um, too contrasty, too intense either way. But um, that, was, that was kind of what I, I was after. Let's see. If I do some more, that's clear water again. This is gonna help have variety. Um, you can use things like salt to create more smaller kinds of texture. There's all sorts of things you can do. 
I usually find the fewer things I'm thinking about, the better for me. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit more, and um, I'm gonna get a smaller brush. And I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna try to demonstrate. This is a bit of a different brush, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna stall a little bit and demonstrate the diff as you let the um, the paint dry, and then introduce. That's probably not even showing up that much. I'm gonna, um, a little bit. So you can play with, it, especially letting the, the paint dry a little bit more and then bringing in some drips of water or doing it sooner and just sort of making it more uh, feathered and soft. Um, but what I'm gonna do now, while that's sort of drying, is come in with an initial layer of Hansa Yellow Light. I and just paint, begin building up some color on my avocado proper. Um, Hansa Yellow Light being a lemony yellow, and if you have a different lemony yellow, that's probably fine. I have good luck with this one, but um. This, this is one of those times when it might, it, it'd be smarter if I let that dry, the bread shape dry that I just painted. But um, in the interest of uh, more stuff per video, I think I'll do this. And this is very watery, as you can tell. Just bring in a bunch. All this stuff is gonna get quite a bit darker. Well, not all this stuff, but um, plenty of it is, so I'm, I'm not too worried about edges, because I know I'll be doing many subsequent layers and as I keep getting further into it, we'll get more refined with my edges. Oh, that's kind of fun for me. I just touched those two colors. Normally, um, normally that's sort of illegal for in my. Well, that's 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 a very cool effect, and um, one that I've sort of avoided just trying to get various parts of different shapes to sort of touch each other so a little bit of color will intermingle and um, it, it, it does have a neat effect and be, because it's so sort of watery and I, I'm not going to worry about that at all um, and in fact kind of glad and I'm proud of myself right now for not panicking <laughs> And I shared that with you that I'm proud of myself. Um, as this has been drying a little bit, I'm kind of curious to see what will happen if I tap a little bit more water into there. Just doing a little bit. Once again, the, um, the paint itself is so watery and not that dark that even bring in some water as it's drying a little bit is not having a huge effect but I, I like that I like starting a little bit more subtle and then I can build up from there hey what I can also do in this pass he realized is just bring a little bit of uh, Thalo green blue shade into um, into the wine bottle. I'm going to start painting around the uh, 
the label. Ooh, that's pretty watery. That's even a little more watery than I was thinking. Um, Right, the right side of the wine bottle, I'm not really worrying about that because I'm going to, I know I'm going to be cropping that out. <laughs> I'm laughing like that because I, 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 see an, an opportunity to to unify across some some shapes I know that this skin of the uh, avocado is going to have plenty of phthalo green blue shade in it as well so I'm actually combining those into kind of one bigger unified shape. This brush is a little bit big, but it's a pretty, pretty watery layer, so I'm not too critical. But little things like things like that are are nice as well because they'll they'll just keep everything a little bit more connected and after you're done just feel kind of read as both being separate from each other but connected. Ooh, that's all deep and stuff. Paradoxical. And I'm going to get a that smaller brush and I'm actually going to grab a tiny bit of my violet very watery and I'm going to drop it in down here cuz the both the bottle is going to be getting darker down here and and this the skin outside of the avocado and I'm going to use a little bit of both both of those colors for just the left side of the bottle here around the, the label Not being very careful about my edge there, but that's going to be okay because I'll be coming back in and doing some fun things with that. So that was a fun pass. I'm going to um, dry that again and see you soon.